in this movie, there are three director's chairs. Mm. Uh, who does what? How is to to work three directors in, in a movie? Mm. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the short answer is, is we all do everything. Um, but that said, uh, you know, uh, you know, an animated movie is a really complicated undertaking. You know, it takes years, you know, there's hundreds of people working for it. You often are doing various different things in production at the same time. And if you have mm -hmm. to go back and kind of rework something or fix something, you know, it becomes a giant puzzle. And, you know, often animated movies have multiple directors for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for us, you know, uh, you know, also like we, we did all bring different backgrounds mm -hmm. in. So, you know, there's some overlap and then there's some difference. But as we go, we all kind of like trade roles and, you know, if we're off doing other things, we kind of come back together every day and talk through. We all have a shared vision. We are all, we're mm -hmm. trying to make something mm -hmm. that felt fresh and different. And that was the goal. And um, if we had, you know, differences or debates, then, you know, the idea is that that makes the movie better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there'll be plenty of times where maybe Rodney is working on script pages Bob and I will read them and we'll, we'll have our notes and we'll have our input. They say they're bad. Bob yeah. will, <laughs> Bob, well. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. They're usually they're really good. Really good. Uh, they said good. Bob will be directing animation and we'll see it and we'll go, oh, you know, you could do that or this or blah, blah. Uh, I'll be working with the, our storyboard team or, uh, or our layout team, mm -hmm. uh, you know, breaking down new sequences. Bob and Rodney have input on that. So we're, we're all touching various parts of the movie at any given time. So it, it reflects all of our sensibilities. Yeah, the movie's about a diverse group of spider mm -hmm. people who have to work together, so. <laughs> it, it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we, we even have a costume. So. Yeah, we okay. worked in costume. Uh, is there anything you said, uh, this wouldn't have been possible in live action movie, uh, Spider-Man Spider mm -hmm. live action movie? There are things about it that I think definitely you could not have done in a live action movie. Um, uh, you can do a lot with live action now, and you know a lot of those things actually are animated in live action, so it's a little bit cheating. But I think uh, what animation did allow us to do was to embrace uh, the look and feel of comic books. I mean, the literal look and feel of comic books with ink lines and sound effects and, and uh, a really graphic, dynamic treatment of uh, the images in our movie that uh, would in a live action movie, I'd, it would be such a big departure from normal live action that I don't think it would feel right. But in an animated movie, we're able to sort of uh, seamlessly move from uh, different, different kinds of visuals and get the same impact mm. that you do from a comic book. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, is there any relation, uh, this movie, with the shared universe that, that is building Sony Pictures? For example, Venom or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. You know, uh, you know, to be honest, you know, that wasn't something we necessarily talked a lot about when we yeah. were making the movie. You know, they may or may not exist in the same universe, but you know, we were mainly focused on telling Miles Morales' story, mm -hmm. creating in this first movie a you know unique, immersive world of our own, and going forward, anything's possible. This mm -hmm. is a movie that is about the multiverse. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. yeah. 